Hello there. Welcome to a Tyke Farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ding a ling ding dong, the bell. It's Saturday morning, there's three men on site, all working down the piggery. Wynn and Ramil are taking the shuttering down from the concrete the board yesterday. And Soy is working on the uh, frame we made for the weighing the pigs. He's putting a gate on the other end, which is what I wanted in the first place. But having seen how it worked, they realise now that a gate's going to be handy. Um, so, as usual, I'll make a couple of videos throughout the day and we'll get back to you shortly. Right, so we finished in the Sally Sally shop for the time being. We've got the hatch covers in, little table underneath. Now, wind's in tomorrow, but Ramel isn't, so we won't be pouring concrete tomorrow. I'll get wind to put roof proof on these shells and paint them black. Um, and there's a bit more rust proofing and black paint to do down the piggery. Just finish things off and tidy them up. And if he's got time, and I do I doubt he will have, I'll get him to fill all this concrete stuff in. So that's tomorrow's job for Win. I'll have a walk down the piggery at lunchtime and have a look at the shuttering what they've removed and what we've got underneath. Quarter past one. <coughs> so we've just finished lunch. And uh, we'll go and have a look, see what we've been doing this morning. Very warm, very hot in the sun. Pigs are all fed. <coughs> A quick clean out, lunch time. No cleaning out at all. The pump is the pressure washer works very well this morning. I just squeezed the bit of muck out at lunchtime. Wynn's got a new garage for his motorbike. Bloody hard work there. So we've took the shuttering off that section and it's going up on the next section. All to be braced up. Um, but we won't be pouring concrete tomorrow because there's only wind working. And we may be looking at some more pigs tomorrow as well. Not sure yet. So soy is working on the weighing crate. We're putting a, another door on the back end, but also we should put more Rio bar. These were a bit too wide, so we left another lot of Rio bar there. The 
small pig which Jean thought was off colour is back to normal so we will we'll, we'll, we'll put them back with these probably tomorrow so all the footage is full them little ones so we'll leave this video there and I'll make another one this evening to make a concluding video the pigs are fed and sorted out we'll go and have a look what uh, we, oh, uh, soy has finished the uh, weighing pen door at both ends now so they can walk in and walk out you need some wooden slats across on that board to stop them slipping and he's put extra bars in here because one of the pigs was trying to get out to that them bars so that's better and uh, he started weighing up um, chipping out for VO bar top and bottom and the same on this side and we'll put a wall across here the same as there with the railings and the front um, I don't know how we're going to do it as yet there's going to be a hot box here which will be raised off the ground 6 inch um, but if we put a gate the full length of here if we've no sour farrowing in that pen we can use the pen um, so we need a gate to get round the side to drive the pigs in and along the back um, so maybe maybe put half a wall in to here and then a long gate But if we've no sow in that farrowing pen, it makes sense to be able to use it. And we'll do the same on this pen. Then this pen will be a nursery pen. That'll be raised off the floor. Keep the wet keep the piglets out of the wet and cold concrete of the night time. Um so that will work then we've got the gestation pens and this will be another grow pen I would imagine that's the way it's looking at the moment that's the way it's sorting itself out you can do all your planning you change your mind as you go along and um, once you get started and get into a, a job the job sort of plans for you. Unless you're very intelligent at all, of course, and you can do exact plans on the computer, and but I'm not that clever. Never have been. So they shut it up here. And we'll be pouring this on Monday. Now there's a change of plan here. Originally Wynn talked to me about it and what he suggested was was putting a wall in and then putting the walkway on top um, with reinforced concrete to walk on and this would be hollow underneath here. Um, and I talked it over with Soy, and Soy vetoed it. Um, but now they've come back to the original plan of putting a walkway, concrete walkway on top. So there's no need to infill all this. Because it'll take a fortnight to dig and fill that with dirt. So that's what, the way we're going now, and I'm quite happy to go that way. Now, 
<coughs> I did have a brilliant suggestion in the comments, but it came too late, unfortunately. What we could have done is dig this out a little bit and then put uh, heavier um, foundations in, thicker walls with heavier Rio bar, and um, that could have been a water tank the full length of the building but the suggestion unfortunately came too late and it never occurred to me to do it but they could have done two jobs together two jobs for the price of one but the uh, holding tank up there I think it was six inch walls an awful lot of um, Rio bar in it And that uh, holding tank is not going to uh, give way. Now, what, what I'm thinking here, I mentioned it to Wynn, uh, but we'll discuss it with Soy and whatever have you. The holding tank is going to be six metres long here. Now, these are just two inch, two and a bit inch walls. There's a fence, and there's no foundation as such in them. Or just a, a little foundation. What I'm thinking is, if we dig along the bottom and put a heavy foundation in again, with a heavier rear bar, maybe we could come to here, the thickness of the post, with as another four or five inch, and... Uh, Maybe that would be heavy enough to hold 20,000 litres of water. I don't know, you, could, you couldn't bank on that, that fence wall. It's possible, I think if, if we can dig down and get a good foundation in at this side and pour up against that fence. But I don't know, we'll have to talk about it. Because I have no experience in building, so I make suggestions really, and I see what the consensus of consensus of opinion is. Now all the sand and gravel is bagged, ready for Monday. Tomorrow we know we're painting all the uh, all the shelves in the Sari Sari shop, and have some black painting down here, but. Uh, I think he'll do well if he, if he gets all the uh, shelving painted. Rust proofed and then painted. So I've just turned the pump on. We're not short of water now, but we haven't got uh, excess water. So I'll pump all night again, hopefully. I'm getting maybe three of them tanks full of water pumping all night, not very uh, very much but enough to keep going so I'll leave the video here uh, just when working tomorrow so I'll probably make a bit of a video and I'll, I'll put it in with Mondays so we'll leave it there <laughs>